let's talk false flags. You hear a lot of people talking about false flags all the time. And sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But you know, the biggest false flag ever in the history of this nation is going on right now in front of our noses. And hardly anyone can see it at all. It's called bait and switch. It's like the old shell game in the carnivals where the guy puts the, uh, the bean under the little cups and moves them around. And you try to find out where the cup is. And he's distracting you with his hand movements and distracting you with what he's saying and doing and getting you all confused so you can't see what's going on. <clears throat> exactly what's going on right now, my friends. False flag right now is happening, and it's going to tear this country down to its basic foundation. It's going to rip this country down to the ground my friends. You know what the false flag is? The false flag is the flag. Here's what's going on right now. You've got uh, the Iran nuclear deal getting ready to be approved, and the Ayatollah is saying he's going to renege on almost everything he promised to do, but you can guarantee that Obama and Kerry will push the rest of the countries in the world to get this agreement approved anyways. Then you've got all the illegal alien stuff going on is tearing the world down. You've got all the reverse racism that Obama is spreading throughout this entire nation, which I call Obama Crow Days now, like Jim Crow Days, Obama Crow Days, reverse racism. You've got the big uh, gay rights thing getting ready to come, the gay marriage getting ready to come down from the Supreme Court. I can almost guarantee you 99.9% .9 are going to approve that. You've got uh, Obama getting his trade deals uh, fast track approved now where he can export the mark of the beast to the rest of the world and take over the world as the major leader. But here's what the thing with the flag is. See, the flag, the Confederate flag, a piece of cloth hanging from a flagpole is what's starting this whole thing, and Obama saying the N-word. What in the world kind of president of the United States would ever say the N-word in a public interview? Could you imagine if George Bush or Bill Clinton would have said that in an interview, or any other white president, what would have happened? The outrage, see, Obama is trying to get the blacks to hate the whites big time. And he's trying to get the whites to hate the blacks big time. Because he knows if he can do this, it'll, it, it's like smoke and mirrors. It distracts the whole world from what he's trying to do and what he's actually not just trying to do, what he's doing. And while everybody's worried about a flag, then they won't see everything else going on. The Confederate flag is something from the old days from the South. I grew up in the South. I grew up in Florida which is still part of the South, but never been a Confederate flag fan. But that being said, the Confederate flag, the Christian flag, any kind of flag, including the flag with Obama's face on it, on the American flag that fly from buildings everywhere and disgrace the U.S. flag, are allowed to be flung. Those flags aren't being taken down. But see, the Confederate flag is being ripped down from the, from the capital of South Carolina now in Alabama, all those stores like Walmart and everybody else are pulling them off. Because see, this is a big thing. Obama's making it where you're a racist if you fly a certain kind of flag. Here's what happens next. Next thing is the Christian flag is going to offend people. Those will all be torn down. Next, it'll be the Marine Corps and the Navy flag. Those flags are offensive. Tear those down. Any flag that people don't like will be torn down. And then, ultimately, the American flag we torn down. There's already college campuses are already saying they don't want the flag flown because it offends their Muslim students. It offends others because of the tyranny of America is what they say. So this is all lining up, my friends. It's all set up to get your mind off everything else going on, get the country in a, in a racist uproar. And you know what? What happened down in South Carolina is horrendous. That cowardly little guy that went in and killed those black people at the church, total coward, total, total coward. Just a shame someone in there didn't take him down and end the whole thing. But it's terrible that it happened. It really is. I really wish someone could have taken him down and stopped it, but they, but they could. I wish I could have been there. I would have took him down. But I'm telling you, this is Obama trying to fuel hatred, trying to fuel racism. What he promised to heal racism in this country, and he had the nerve to come on and say, oh, I was so hopeful that racism was going to be healed and this brought up, Obama, you're such a liar, man. You're the one who are, who are, who's instigating all the racism right now in this country. You're the one pushing it, Obama. People need to wake up and see what's going on around you and see what's happening to you. See what's happened to this once great nation. Because you know what? I'm not going to be here to warn you much longer. I'm about to be raptured. 
The rapture of the church is going to happen any second of any day. Believe it or not. But when you see me gone and millions of others gone, then maybe you'll start believing. And maybe you'll get your, your life together then if you even have a chance to do it. Because if you die in the aftermath of the rapture with all the terrible things that are going to happen, it's too late for you, my friends. I've got a prayer that I put in the box below this video title. You can pray that prayer. Do the six vital next steps if you've never been saved or if you're a backsider. If you won't repent of your sins, where well, the Bible tells you at least 250 times that you have to, pray that prayer. That's why I do these videos. I'm a Christian. I get the word out. I'm a, I'm a Christian pastor, a watchman, a teacher, a leader, where very few want to take leadership. But I give God all the glory for anything that I accomplish. It's never about Paul. It's about God. Share this video with everybody you possibly can, my friends. If you want me to pray for you for anything, send me a private message, and I'll pray for you totally in private. But true Christians, look up. Our different draw tonight. We fly soon. Stop getting distracted by all this j j j talk, and let's get real. Bye.